is your Mayello glass is supposed to be a very big cell. Okay, so it has a big uh, nucleus. It almost it practically occupies the whole cell. Okay, it has a very big nucleus. Okay, and you can see the nuclear line. Okay, some of you say might say that you're imagining it, but um, the mga white dish ano na siya eh? Though you have your nucleus here, though. Okay, so they can be seen as whitish domata, the solution you use, okay? And you're not supposed to have any granules in your cytoplasm, if ever you see the cytoplasm. So that is your Maya low, Maya low blast, okay? That's the blast, okay? Once it matures a little, okay, it becomes, suppose the cell is supposed to grow smaller. So when you look at a cell, you look at the size of the cell, you look at the nucleus, you look at whether it has a nuclear lie or not, you look at the cytoplasm, whether it has granules or not. Okay, so the next is your chromayellocyte. Now the difference between your myeloblast and your chromayellocyte is that the nucleus is a little smaller. You now have a lot of granules on the cytoplasm but you still have the nuclear light. Okay? Now, maturing further, you have a smaller cell. Okay, you have your myelocyte. So, note the difference between the site and the blast. Okay, the blast is very primitive. Mm -hmm. Okay, your myelocyte is now supposed to have a smaller nucleus. Okay, it has a lot of granules, but it no longer has the nuclear light. Okay, so round but I can have one Now from your myelocyte, you mature into your metamyelocyte, but this time the difference there would be you now have a kidney-shaped nucleus. Okay, it doesn't have a nucleoli and it also has a lot of granules. Take a granular and come on. They are granular cells. So it has a lot of granules. This matures further, you now have your what's this? Banana, okay. That's your band or your scab. Band or your scab. And once it the mature form are your segmental. Okay. So wala na gina chaya ano. So the segment na chaya you have your granules there. So the difference here would be kung ano klasing yung granules ka, what type of specific granules you're supposed to have. Okay, so these are your um segmenters na mature, okay. Now, your your eosinophils would have very big pinkish granules, cytoplasm, okay. Okay, so they're usually smaller and they have very big pinkish granules, and that is your AOs. Okay, this is your neutrals. Your basophil, I'm sorry you don't have a very good uh, representative in your basophil, but as I said, it's very difficult to catch on film because um, the granules usually melt with the uh, staining. So you have a, well, sometimes you can also have the granules, the nucleus there, but the granules are very, very big. Okay, kung tis agamay na lang na granules, na makita mo, because nagaka erase sila with staining, they're washed up with stain. So they're very, very big. And if you're lucky enough to see a really, honest to goodness, base of fill, then it practically fills, the granules practically fills the whole thing. And you may not even be able to see the nucleus, the segmenters. These, these are the basic cells. Okay. Now you've seen the megakaryocyte. Okay, so you you notice the difference on low power field. That's that's why I wanted to. When you look at a blood smear, you're supposed to look at it under the oil immersion field. Okay? You're not you will not be able to to recognize the morphology on low power or even high power field. Except for the megakaryocyte, kaya makita mo na siya mas kinsa low power na siya. So that's why it's called a megakaryocyte. Kaya megagin man siya, kaya gansin siya. So that that thing there, the other one is the high power or the oil immersion rather of your megakaryocyte. So that whole big thing is the mega. Okay, so ang iya na nga, you were asking what the, the bluish thing in the middle is. That was the nucleus. That is the nucleus, and then the granules of healing, yeah, that's what becomes your platelet when it is excluded. So on one side, well, there's no, there's really no way to to picture out what a monocyte really looks like. The, 
that is the biggest cell in your peripheral blood smear. Okay, in your PBS, usually what you see are only from here downwards, okay, normally. Uh, except if you have very um, intense infections, if you have infect, uh, uh, massive infections, where you can even go as far as the blood. Okay, if you know, tasig ang turnover sa imong mga white cells mo. So you're, you're trying to produce a lot of cells in order to counteract the infection. But normally, what you only see are here, the immature forms in your peripheral smear, not the premature type. So your your monocyte is the biggest, and it has well, it has uh, it can take on a lot of shapes. So quite the S shape. But but the difference there is the nucleus is usually fatter than what you would see for a band. It doesn't have a really granular cytoplasm. It's a gray niche, but it's not you don't really have those granules. Any other questions? A monocyte, okay. Your large lymphocytes, <laughs> your large lymphocytes are usually um you have to look at the site the the nucleus. You have you can have um what we call the typical lymphocytes actually. What we mentioned on with viral infections, okay. So with this, you usually have only that roundish thing there, but it has a lot of cytoplasm. Your monocyte, usually, it has an indentation. So my pagkameta, my yellow side siya without the granules. It usually has a nuclear indentation, or sometimes looks like, like that, right? Okay, so you look at the nucleus actually, kay mas, Compact and nucleus and nucleus and nucleus. But don't worry if it's something ubiquitous that you cannot you cannot really um, identify. I don't expect you to become a hematologist. So representative, so what is usually So that could be your analog. This could be your reactive lymphocytes or a typical lymphocyte. Because there's also such thing as a monocyte or a you know, it's it's very difficult to differentiate from or to um, to describe compared to a monocyte. That's why it's called a monocyte or a monocyte. Any other questions? So you know what a red cell looks like? Okay, that's the red cell here. It has that central nucleus, uh, central theory. Okay. But then again, sometimes you have red cells no without the central theory. Okay. So nakita ninyo reticulocyte at the end. The, the retic at the end, um, the inner stain, it looks bluish. The, the reticulocyte stain is bluish. And you have those, no may mga something inside, okay, so blue wish na siya mga anigra, which is your charlie your round so this is your